Hi, Doc Corkins again. I want to show you another major injury that occurs during whiplash. I have to show you this, this injury, the set of big bones here, and the big bones has various pieces of tape over it that represent the different ligaments that help hold the structures in the neck together. The front is the anterior longitudinal ligament. In the rear, we've got interspinous ligaments represented by this, by this uh, orange tape. Around the capsules on each side, there's a capsular ligament that's represented here in the green. And the last one, which is really hard to see, but if you look down the hole that your spinal cord goes down through, you, if you look there carefully, you'll see a piece of yellow tape. That's the ligament that I want to talk about. The one that's inside the canal that the brain stem comes down through and your spinal cord comes down through. That's called the posterior longitudinal ligament. Posterior means it's in the back. Longitudinal means it covers the whole length of the cervical spine and of course it's a ligament. Now, during the whiplash process, the head gets plummeted backwards and forwards with such force that it breaks these ligaments. And it doesn't really break them in half. These are biopolymers. What happens is the ligament gets stretched beyond its elastic limits and it does not come back to its original shape. When that happens, then when I asked the person who's been injured to lean forward, what will happen is the vertebrae above will slide forward on the vertebrae below. So when we want to look at this alignment right here, okay, the face of the top vertebrae with respect to the face of the bottom vertebrae, when we lean forward, the whole section, the head and all the vertebrae, will actually move forward. And when you straighten back up, it'll come back. That's called a listhesis, an anterior listhesis. Anterior means when you look forward, the top vertebrae falls forward, falls anteriorly. Anterolisthesis is best observed, however, by looking at the backs of the vertebrae. And when we just talked about the posterior longitudinal ligament going down the center of the canal that holds the brain stem and the spinal column, that's the ligament that you want to look at to see if there is uh, a problem. And as I said, as, you, as the patient looks forward, the top vertebrae will slide forward on the bottom vertebrae, and you can best see this by looking at the backs of the vertebrae. Well, you can't see that in this model, but you can see it in an x-ray. In fact, you can best see it in an x-ray that allows the person to move. That would be a digital motion x-ray or a DMX because as they flex forward, you'll see the top vertebrae move in relationship with the bottom. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So in this patient, you'll see that the cervical vertebrae four slides forward on cervical vertebrae five by two millimeters. This is what we refer to as an anterior listhesis. And when she goes into extension, it comes back and they line up. Again, this is an anterolisthesis. These patients tend to have headaches, neck pain, muscle spasms, vertigo, numbness tingling into the arms, hand, and fingers, and it begins the degenerative disease process. So if you've been involved in an accident, get yourself checked out by calling the Advanced Spine Center at 561-433-4184.